very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so before we start the midweek analysis i just wanted to refer to two comments that i have seen recently on my channel and i thought i must reply to them on a video reply number one is from this guy here who is actually i don't understand honestly honestly speaking and i wanted to share this with you so he's saying that unbelievable claiming take profit number two on euro and zd after it hit take profit number one by the way he's referring to the signal that i have sent yesterday not me as i meant we me and angela we have sent the signal to short euro and zd at the level 1.7717 and as we can see take profit number one 30 pips take profit number two 60 pips and three 120 pips notice that the stop loss is 50 pips so what he's saying right here is that um you don't mention which pairs reverse to original stop loss after hitting take profit number one this is the signal that we have sent yesterday for shorting the euro NZD. and we st we actually sent the signal to start shorting the euro usd right here as you can see 1.7717 and as you can see also my friends that the signal went all the way in the profit and now it hit the take profit number one what happened later the pair has actually made another pullback and it reversed for 20 pips against our direction and again for more down and right now it, it also had re has reached uh, reached uh, 60 pips of profit take profit number two and right now is going in 90 pips of profit what this guy here is saying that the signal has actually reached the stop original stop loss which i really don't understand because the signal was far far away from the stop loss i mean why are you claiming this why are you saying this i don't understand it why why trying so hard to make me look like a li like a liar or a scammer i don't get this point honestly not only that i think he's also referring to to, to my advice that i said that if your signal hit the, t the take profit number one you can set the stop loss a little bit above the take profit number one just in case the candle has reversed now of course when we are claiming the results by the end of the week we never consider this because we sent the signal with a take profit number two uh, one and two and three and if the signal has reached any of them we are going to claim it because sir not everyone is trading the, the way you're doing not everyone setting a stop loss a little bit above the take profit number one so many members they are keeping the trade running after it hit the take profit number one they will not set any stop loss other than the original stop loss and they will, they will keep the trade running even if the trade will be in loss again but eventually it will be in profit hitting the take profit number two and three I'm telling you so many members doing this they are not doing they are not trading the same way you are doing so please understand this consider it consider it I never hide anything I never being un unfair I'm trying to be as much as fair as possible I'm trying to be as much honest as possible I'm really doing my best here to be very open uh, and honest with everyone not only that but another another claim I don't get it here six minutes ago he said deleting comments unbelievable and again he repeated the same comment who deleted your comments sir i mean your comment is just here 10 hours ago has been posted and right now you are again posting the same one uh, pretty, uh, claiming that i am deleting comments i mean honestly i don't understand this guy and it's just disappointing me to see someone trying so hard by any means to make me look like a, a scammer or, or a liar anyway uh, another very interesting and good question that we have received from this guy here uh, mr. Jones he's saying why is your account never growing it's always around thousand thousand five hundred I feel like now you have won two hundred dollars and one hour later you have lost it no it's not like that at all allow me please to explain I, I, I by the way I have explained this many times on my other live trading videos so the amount you're seeing here is a thousand three hundred ninety four dollars now the point here is maybe you want to see my account with a five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars now let me just, just explain this that I am a human being and I, I know myself sometimes I lose my to my emotions and those who are knowing me for a long time they know that I am somehow emotional person and I might be actually getting uh, may I will be either greedy or getting in 
I mean, I will have emotions. Maybe I will be in loss. So therefore, what I'm doing, actually, I do have four thousand dollars or five thousand uh, dollars for investments. So what I will do, I will cut an, a, a nugget or a chunk, a chunk from the four thousand dollars, such as five hundred dollars or one thousand dollars, and I will deposit this amount in my trading account. Then I will try to grow it more. So instead of uh, depositing five thousand or four thousand dollars and risk losing it i will just deposit a small amount then what i will do let me let me show you for example i have actually deposited seven hundred dollars this week and this seven hundred dollars today is wednesday thankfully i have i managed to double my account now i have almost thousand four hundred dollars what i will do is i will withdraw seven hundred dollars and bring the account back to seven hundred dollars you get the point so now I have taken the profit, or actually no, I have taken the initial deposit, and right now I have a pure profit of $700, and I'm going to trade with my profit. So the most important thing for me is that my initial deposit is always safe, and I'm always trading the profit, so by that I can grow my money. That's the reason actually I don't, uh, I don't use big accounts, because I just, uh, as I said, I'm an emotional person, and I don't want to risk losing it. So instead of depositing $5,000 and set a plan that I will invest only $1,000 from this $5,000 and I will stay away from the other $4,000, it doesn't work this in my mind. And by the way, every trader have his own way of trading and investing his money. So some other traders, they like to deposit $20,000 and trade them. That's really up to them. Uh, I cannot advise him to not do that because, as I said, every trader have his own system and he's, he already used to do it. So therefore, um, I would really appreciate if you can just let me trade with the way I have used to do over the past uh, six years. So anyway, I just wanted to make these two, two replies to these comments and just wanted to share it with you. So please, uh, we have wasted seven minutes uh, talking about this. Let's now talk about the analysis. So as you can see, and I just wanted to say that I'm really deeply apologize for what happened and I fall into a big mistake where I have sent um, a, a continuation of the signals where I said that we can start buying the pair immediately and actually I have fallen to my own mistake because usually what I do is preferably waiting for the pullback after the pullback I will uh, uh, buy or short however what happened sadly uh, I went against my uh, rules and sent the signal to buy immediately and it it caused really uh, big losses uh, for so many for, for so many pairs or many signals anyway we will do now our best to recover the losses happened and let's now review together what we can do actually to recover the losses so let me just delete the previous signal for sh buying the euro in ZD sorry the euro USD now as I mentioned before um, the dollar, the US dollar is still weak and therefore after seeing this bearish candle it's very obvious to me that the candles are actually going to continue the fall a little bit more until it hit the strong support level right here now there is a reason we need to understand first first of all if we draw a Fibonacci retracement as you can see this is uh, 23.6 and therefore we can expect the pair to actually respect that previous support level right here and the pair actually gonna continue the fall until hitting the, st the, the, the support level right here. So we have already here a support number one and the pair will most likely fall to hit support number two and then from that point it's gonna continue the rise. Of course, not only that, but as we can see, we had right here a resistance trend line like that. That resistance trend line has already been breaking out from with this bullish breakout candle and right now the market is falling down to retest the broken uh, resistance trend line and right now it's going to become the new support trend line so therefore we can actually rely on this and we can set now a new uh, signal for the euro nzd euro nzd i meant euro usd sorry my friends <laughs> i'm still affected by the signal i have sent so euro usd is good for the buy at the level 1.17097 exactly from that level of the previous support and this time we can keep the thread running until it hit the top of the resistance. Um, 
I believe that's not realistic. Maybe it's better like this until it hit the take profit, uh, the resistance, sorry, on that level right here. So we are looking for 200 pips of profit. Meanwhile, the stop loss or the, the safe zone is going to be ranging in, uh, below that support level, which I really doubt it, it's, it's going to happen. However, I have to mention something, my friends. Uh, all these signals are very subjective to the news and the announcements from the leaders from the United States because as you know my friends right now we are having the elections coming after two weeks and it's not really my fault if anything will happen during these days if uh, for example on Thursday Mr. Trump will make uh, some tweets insulting uh, Nancy Pelosi or Joe Biden or announcing anything to cancel a debate or something we it's not really my mistake this can actually affect the signal all the signals you are seeing here based on technical analysis and if you want to make a fundamental analysis please be careful to the news pay attention to the tweets of mr trump or whatever um announcement about his health announcement about the um the coronavirus cases in the united states all of that actually plays a major role in these signals so again Please pay attention to them. I really cannot take any fault or any blame for that. Let's look right now for the pound USD. Sadly, the signal also didn't work well, and I really feel sorry. What uh, what we can do? This is forex. Um, we always have to recover in in case we have made the losses. Instead of apologizing, we always we always have to uh, try our best to recover. So, what is going on right now with the pound USD? The pound USD actually is still continuing the growth, as you can see right here. The, the pound USD is still going in a bullish momentum, and I believe the pair will eventually fall down to hit that support level right here. And as I said before, um, let me just check that on Fibonacci retracement. Exactly, look at that. We are also on Fibonacci 23.6, and therefore um, this uh, uh, support trend line is going to continue moving up. And the pair is going to continue the rise until at least it hit that previous support level right here. Remember right now I'm on the daily candles. So pound USD should be good for the buy again at the level 1.28891. And the safe zone is going to be below that support level. Let me just be sure. Exactly. Actually my eyes, my eyes looking here. So that's also another strong support level. And the candle might fall down to that level. So 53 pips is the uh, safe zone for the trade of the pound USD. Just fix it. Right. And we can keep the trade running. As I said, let's make it until only the uh, previous resistance right here. So we are looking for almost 1,198 pips of profit. Hopefully we will make them all. Uh, take profit 1.30830848. Please again keep in mind any news about Brexit, any uh, um, announcements about. Uh, uh, now, by the way, you, uh, United Kingdom is facing a major problem with the coronavirus, and it seems like they are going to be uh, a hot spot, a hot zone in Europe about uh, with with the infection, with the positive cases about uh, in the coronavirus. So that actually might affect the pound so please let's pay attention to it and be careful about any uh, announcements or news going after posting this uh, analysis uh, this one i deleted by mistake sorry so there goes the signal for the pound usd hopefully also it will work this time very well aud usd oh, yes, sorry it didn't work well as well uh, also and i'm okay what happened happened now we need to look for uh, the new opportunities coming so AUD USD if we check the chart on the four hour time frame we can see that the pair is still actually going uh, in a bullish momentum it's still growing so in my opinion the best op uh, the best option we can do is waiting for the AUD USD to reach that strong key support level and from that point we can start again buying the pair not to mention that this support has already been respected as a support right here so we had here a bullish breakout candle and therefore we can expect from the pair uh, to reverse at that small resistance right there and here then it's going to continue the fall to hit the support level right here and then going to continue the rise 
and I want to check if I draw a resistance trend line exactly look at that that previous resistance trend line has been breaking out from and the pair has went all the way down to retest the broken uh, resistance there is a, pot a possibility that the pair actually might start the rise immediately however I have learned my mistakes we will never set any uh, buy now signal anymore we always have to be very careful and select only the strongest levels uh, to the buy or sell and from what I see the strongest levels is going to be that support level so that will be the signal for uh, buying the, the, the AUD USD AUD USD is good for the buy at 0 0.71390 and uh, the, the, the safe zone is going to be ranging I think here below the support level even more right here below the support level I just want to make sure it's correct that should be fine that should be fine because if the pair gonna go below that level it means that it has actually uh, or the retest actually has failed and the pair is no longer above the resistance trend line so therefore that's uh, that's gonna be the signal and that's gonna be also the safe zone for the pair and the take profit level is going to be right here at the previous resist look at here my eyes here guys look at the cursor this is the resistance uh, right here that resistance is gonna be our new take profit level so we can look for almost 128 pips of profit hopefully also we will make them all 0 0.72664 there goes the signal for the AUD USD. Hopefully, this time it will be a good signal. Now let's look at the USD CAD. The USD CAD signal is actually going well. I don't think there is any need to change anything in it because there is a, there is a still a possibility that the pair actually the signal was going in profit for uh, almost 38 pips of profit then reversed now what we can see here is we're facing a major key resistance level which was also previously a support and right now the pair is actually on the same level of the resistance so USD gas signal is still valid because it might actually go a little bit more here to the same level of the resistance and then it's gonna eventually fall and I think there is absolutely no need to change anything with the USD signal is still valid and hopefully it will be also a good signal USD GPY is also going I mean it's going fantastic and it's going exactly as I have predicted and as we can see the pair has reversed from the point here of uh, the sell and right now it's going in 40 pips of profit it went down to 55 pips of profit so USD JPY signal is still valid and it is the, still going on in a good profit USD CHF now USD CHF signal sadly didn't work as well so what we can do right now is set the next levels where we can start shorting the pair and it's very obvious that the pair might actually continue the rise for another 37 pips before it actually reached the strong resistance level right there from that point USD CHF is definitely gonna be good for the short and it's gonna continue the fall yes I don't want to talk long about this so uh, USD CHF is good for the short let me just uh, be sure of which, which levels I'm selecting like that perfect so it can rise for another 30 pips and let me just be sure I'm just trying to be sure about uh, my selected my selections for the pairs is uh, below 50 and yeah I think that's fine I think that's totally fine right here exactly right here let me look at the four hour time frames yes perfect yes that is what I want so USD CHF should be good for the sell at 0 0.91738 and the safe zone should be actually ranging until the next highest resistance level which is right here like that so that is gonna be our safe zone almost 50 pips and let me just draw for you the ranging or the shape of the safe zone and the take profit level is of course gonna be the lowest level of the support right here so hopefully we're talking about 114 pips of profit hopefully we will make them all and 0 0.905 correct yes correct 
9.0. Why I feel it's not correct? 9.0595. Okay, so there goes your signal for the USD CHF and also it will be another good signal. Now let's talk about the gold because the gold signal has failed miserably and we need to fix it and hopefully we can actually make some good recovering uh, of the losses as soon as possible. So from my point of view, after seeing the gold has fallen like this and it failed to break ac ac to break out actually from that uh, support level. However, we cannot ignore this bullish breakout candle. It seems like the, the gold is right now uh, ranging. As I mentioned before, it seems like it's ranging inside this uh, channel and seems like eventually it's going to continue the growth. However, we need to understand where we can start again buying the uh, gold to have a better entry. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and hopefully I'm correct, oh, it has already reached it. Hmm, actually I was planning to send a signal to start buying the gold from that support level. However, we can see that the pair has already reached that level and seems like it has already reversed. I mean, did this happen before recording? Yeah, seems like it, yes. Look at that. Uh, on the 50 minute time frame, we can see that the candle has already reached uh, the level I was planning to send the signal to. It went to 130 pips already. And yeah, that happened. Uh, bef I, 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 I planned this before recording and sadly the signal uh, without noticing it has already uh, been there. So I have to send the signal like this, sorry, because maybe maybe the candle actually might fall down later and hit uh, the support level for another attempt. And from that point, it's going to good for the buy again. So I know it's, it's going to be a late signal. However, that is the signal. This is the valid signal. We have to send it by the gold at 1882.55. And the stop loss should be actually at this support level right here. No, that's a lot. Let me go to the one hour time frame. Just selecting um the safe zone should how far how long it should be yes that support here is fine enough 100 pips which is fair and the take profit level should be actually at the top of that resistance level right here so that's gonna be the signal take profit at 1920.79 i have to say again that sadly the signal has already been active while i'm talking and i really cannot send another signal than this one and our only hope that the gold signal is going to be valid if later on the pair will make another pullback retesting the broken support level and then you can actually place the buy order again uh, forgive me guys it was not my fault really what happened right now because the gold has reached uh, the entry uh, while i'm actually uh, getting ready to record this video so there goes your signal for the gold and hopefully uh, this week we will continue to make some good profits and hopefully we will recover the losses caused by the uh, weekly analysis and I hope everyone understands the, the reason uh, why the signals have failed as I said before uh, it's a very very critical uh, days we are living right now because of the elections coming and this will actually it will control the market it will control how the currency will go and please pay attention to any news and announcements from the leaders of the world. So, uh, again, I hope it will be a very profitable week. And until then, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.